Today I'm going to be talking about the extensions that you can put on the John Deere 40 inch Thatcherator. Uh, these extensions here are part number LP48003. Um, you can add one to each side of this Thatcherator. Um, and actually these are made for the front Thatcher attachment that you can get for the 300 and 500 series tractors. However, they're not exactly marketed as to fitting this, but this is marketed as to saying that you can extend it with these extensions. Now, I couldn't find anything specifically stating which extensions as far as a part number go on this, but I figured John Deere only really makes one set of extensions, and even though they were labeled for the other thing, figured they'd fit this too. So. I got them and we're gonna throw them on here. So in the box, I already kind of opened this one up just to make sure they were gonna fit. So that if I had to take them back, I could. But basically in the box, you're gonna find you have two sets of the tines. You have bag of hardware. This is how the tines, of course, attach to the frame and then what's going to attach the frame to the frame of the actual thatcherator. And then, of course, your frame extension. So these are 8-inch extensions. Basically, it's going to give us from 40, it's going to give us 48 if you put one on, and then 56 if you put both on. There are multiple mounting holes in the frame of this saturator. So if you only put one uh, extension on, you can move this frame over so that you're still gonna be centered. So that way you don't gotta drive funky through your yard if you have extension on one side but not the other. So as I mentioned in my last video, that was just kind of a review and my opinion on this thing. Uh, I would only recommend it in this 40 inch configuration with a 100 series tractor. I pulled it with my D105 and it pulled it okay, but you could definitely tell when you have some weight on there and you're dragging these tines through the ground that it was, you know, it was back there. Um, but I would not recommend going much more than that just because those transmissions are not designed for pulling stuff through the ground. Granted, this is marketed for any of, you know, those, you know, value series tractors, if you will, but uh, I wouldn't go higher than this. Now, if you put one extension on, you might be able to get away with one of the, like, uh, I was going to say the E170 and 80, now it's the S170 and 180. You could get away with doing that, I'm sure, because those have the, I think, K46 transmission, which is the same that you'll find in most, if not all, the 300 series. The 300 series isn't going to have a problem with at least one extension maybe both, and then the 500 series should have no problem with any of this. So I'm gonna put both on and get up to that uh, 56 inch. And as fun and cool as it may be pulling this thing around, unfortunately, a bigger mower, bigger deck, bigger thatcher, it's all just gonna get everything done faster, which is kind of sad because less time in the yard. But anyway, I'm gonna break this bag of hardware open, get the tools I need, and then we'll get to installing these things. All right, so here's what's in the box. Uh, most of this hardware makes sense. There's no instructions, so some of this stuff I will say, I don't know if we'll be using it as this is designed for the front, the front thatcher. Um, I, of course, have the rear thatcher, so there's no point in me buying the front one. Um, so if I don't use these parts, whatever. But uh, this will fit the rear thatcher. So those parts are these two rods there's four lock nuts here and then these two washers that have two holes in them um, i'm wondering if these might be something for retention of those tines but i feel like it would have to have two more uh, judging by the holes that are in these washers and then two more washers but i'm not going to worry about that for now we're going to get this thing installed so Pretty simple tool wise. All you would need is if you were using these lock nuts, which we'll see if I can figure out what that's for later on, but that uses a 7 16 socket. But basically, the only other thing you need is a half inch socket uh, for all these uh, the nuts here. Now, these are carriage bolts, so 
there's a square slot that you're going to be putting everything through. So let's get to putting the tines on. I'm going to say putting the tines on is probably going to be easier doing it off of the tool. Um, so we're going to just do this, the same setup that the Thatcherator has. Now the Thatcherator has no lock nut. Or sorry, no lock washer, but this has lock washers with regular nuts, whereas this comes with a lock washer on it. So basically, we're just going to have to throw that into the mix. So to start out, we are going to put the longer of the two carriage bolts through the frame like that. And then this is going to go on this way. So we're going to put our tine on there like that. Then you're going to put your large washer then you're going to put on a lock washer then one of the half inch nuts spin that down and then of course tighten it You want to make sure that that lock washer is good and compressed. So there is one set of tines. We'll do the same for that other one. And there you have it. You have your tines on there. Check, make sure of course that the spring action works and they're not too loose in there. I mean, if you tighten it down, it should be good to go. So now we'll flip it upside down, hold it into place over the frame, take the short carriage bolts, put one through there, put your regular washer on, then the lock washer. And I probably should flip this up for this, but I'm not gonna. Maybe I'll have to, we'll see. And then Put your nut on there. And I'm probably gonna have a hard time doing this by myself. <laughs> Let's flip the dethatcher up because that's probably gonna make my life a bit easier. There we go. Let's try this again. Carriage bolt, flat washer lock washer and the nut all right that was much easier definitely recommend flipping your thatcher up to do this now i'm gonna not tighten these all the way actually because i want to make sure i can get these other ones in there looks I think I'm gonna go the other way with these ones put that one in with the manufacturer head on the outside I think I'll tilt this back up now actually I'm gonna go that way flat washer lock washer and nut. Ah. Tighten everything down. And there you have it. That is on there solid. I was actually a little bit worried uh, seeing it only mounted by this little bit in three parts. Um, so 
So yeah, I was definitely worried about how solid this was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit floppy, but that is nice. That is not going anywhere. And now we have four extra tines. Um, we'll do the other side and have eight. So we got quite a bit of extra width here. This thing's looking uh, pretty cool now, quite a bit wider. And there we have it. Side number two is on. This took our then 48 inch Thatcher to now a 56 inch Thatcher. So uh, yeah, overall you can see it's a pretty easy install. It requires literally one tool. Um, so pretty cool there, uh, super simple. Um, and I cannot wait to use this now. Dragging a 56 inch tool behind this thing is gonna be like awesome <laughs> compared to the the 40 inch version or even like the 42 inch sweeper that i have uh, this is going to do a lot of work quick when it comes to dethatching but as you can see this thing is a monster now i cannot wait to use it if you're looking to have anything bigger than a 40 to maybe 46 inch dethatcher uh, this john deere one is definitely the way to go with these extensions for it now I want to say this is made by, I think, Brinley? What do I do with my manual? So, it says on it, John Deere, but I don't know that they make this. I want to say it is outsourced to either Brinley or Agrifab. Oh well, regardless, if you want a bigger dethatcher, this is definitely the way to go. Um, whether or not these extensions will work with the Brindley or Agrifab, I don't know. You'll have to maybe look at yours if you have a different model, uh, you know, from a different brand. Maybe look at it if it has similar attachment points on it. You know, maybe you could put this on there. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and say it's going to work though because I don't know that it will. But I can say. The front thatcher extensions will work for the 40 inch tow behind thatcherator. So, hopefully, if uh, for whatever reason you were struggling to attach these to yours and needed a how to install video, hopefully, this worked. Um, it was really simple. Uh, if you're mechanically inclined at all, I would think you could, you know, figure this one out. Um, but if you didn't, you know, that's all right too, and uh, hopefully, it helped for you. Um, if you're just into this kind of stuff and wanted to see what's going on with these things also hopefully it was informational for you um if you have any questions whatsoever on this tool um as always feel free to ask any question and i'll answer it as best i can um and then stay tuned of course for using this monster of a detacher so thanks for watching and have a good one so just a quick update uh well, not really an update, but just a little uh, tip here of what I did in order to retain these extra tines for the extension. I uh, basically just took some uh, vinyl covered wire hanger, cut the bottom portion out, and then uh, just bent that around. Um, unfortunately, the quality steel is very low, and I was having a hard time 
getting some of them bent without breaking. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, these two turned out okay. But then on this side, uh, this one down here, I ended up having to use part of the twisted hanger end. Um, I basically used, I think I had like six of these hangers. I ended up breaking two of them, the good part, and then uh, tried getting this one, which even this one I think is kind of starting to get broke at this one corner. But uh, it should be okay. I mean, realistically, these aren't really doing anything for, you know, most of their life on the machine. It's just in case, uh, in case one of these tines breaks, it uh, holds the tine on. So, uh, yeah, just a simple little tip of something you can do if you're interested in having those retained on there. Um, they basically just go through the extension tines and then uh, it loops through one of the tines on the end from the original dethatcher. So keep that in mind.